So I'm at 2559 Faulkner. You can see it snowed last night. About, in this area, about six inches. So again, it's 2559 Faulkner. And I have no idea if there's grass up here or not. Because <laughs> of all the snow, but yeah. All right, let's head on in. So it is a split level house. I'm gonna pop my shoes off. Okay, and they got a little linen closet right here off the front. Good place for storage, I suppose. I'll peek in the garage. So it's a one car garage. And you got backyard access here. Might as well go peek into the backyard. Oh, they got a doggy door. I don't know if you have dogs or not, but that's kind of a good little setup. All right, so it's got a fully fenced backyard. Got a nice German Shepherd. All right, well that's good. Nice patio back here. I imagine it goes, well you can see where it stops right there. They got a nice deck up there which we'll take a look at. So fully fenced yard, nice deck, a handsome dog, pretty puppy. All right, so let me continue back into the house. Not sure your thoughts on split levels. They're what, um, unfortunately, or fortunately, if you like it, but most of the homes here are in well, this price range in this area. So a good sized family room here. Real wood floors, it looks like. Kitchen area. Not a huge kitchen area. So we're back to the family room. So it goes there through to here. You got a lot of cabinet space, which is nice. And you can fit a table right here. And this is the deck. If my shoes are off, so I'm not gonna walk out here, but. All right, so it looks like your yard goes back to that fence, past that fenced area. So you see where the shed is. The yard goes back to there. Oh, there's the shepherd. Hello, buddy. You're a nice dog. All right, so, and yeah, this is a pretty good size yard. So you got dishwasher, fridge, um, range, hood, bank. You could always put a microwave there. You could take out the cabinets above it, put a microwave if you want. So you got granite. And not a huge area for a table, but you could put a small table here. Or you could always put bar stools right there. All right, so dishwasher. Obviously, stove, disposal, pretty nice setup in the kitchen. Bathroom. Looks like newer windows, not brand new, but definitely not original. Linen closet. Bedroom one. Once again, the windows look newer in here. That's for sure. Bedroom two. Then you got the breaker box here. It's Federal Pacific. So if you Google Federal Pacific, they're gonna make it seem like your home's gonna burn down. Like you're gonna living in a death trap with the Federal Pacific breaker box. And uh, they try and scare you, but the home's lasted 40, 50 years already. There's, and it hasn't burned down. Obviously not to say that, you know, something couldn't go wrong, but part of the inspection process is we would have a licensed electrician check out the breaker box to make sure it's functioning safely and properly. And if it's not, to fix it or replace it. So, I mean, definitely Google it, Federal Pacific Breaker Box, and you can see the horror stories with it. Some electricians say it absolutely has to be replaced. Some say if it's working, it's working fine. We'll test it to make sure it's still working fine. So, you know, take that as you will. A lot of people live in homes with Federal Pacific breaker boxes and they are perfectly fine. All right, so here, this looks new. Let's see if there's a light switch somewhere. We'll see what we can see here. 
That is 06, so it's 14 years old, I guess. You have 10 to 15 years left on the furnace. Water heater is 2014. I don't know if you can get the right angle to see that. I'm causing our own shadow here. Well, it's 2014. So that's about six years old. So you have four years or more left on it. Laundry room, electric, and part of the bathroom. Nice tile work in here. Then another bedroom, basically the same size as the one upstairs. And then you got a little smaller of a bedroom here. More of an office, I guess you could say. So that's the home. It's nice, well taken care of. The only negative I see, and honestly, I don't see it as a negative, is a Federal Pacific Breaker Box. But if you end up loving the home, but you need to have that replaced, typically sellers will be amenable to that. If it's been a little bit on the market, if it's brand new on the market, they know that there's buyers who just want it inspected to make sure it's still safe. And if it's safe, they'll move forward with the purchase of the home. So yeah, just food for thought. That's the home on Faulkner and I will head to the next one.